today's video, I'm just going to show you guys a quick and easy way to uh, overclock your GPU. Uh, this is the pretty common way that most people do. Um, and you can take a look at this and you can always revert the changes. It's something that's pretty reversible. You can test it and do whatever. Uh, so you just Google MSI Afterburner and you're just going to go to their website and you're going to download the Afterburner here. After you're finished downloading it, you're just going to run the EXE right here. And once you're done installing it, you're just going to open up MSI. Uh, now I make mine look a little bit different just so it's easier for me to read, but you can just click on settings down here. You go over to user interface and then you just choose the skin that you prefer. Um, I find it easier to read the big edition ones because uh, I throw it on my other monitor, which is a little bit smaller, uh, but you can go through any of these skins right here. All right, so once you find whatever skin that you're happy with, uh, what you're going to do from here is you're going to first start off with the core clock. The core clock is your GPU core, and most people start upgrading it from here. Uh, what a lot of people recommend and what I do too is maybe go up in increments of like 10 or so. Um, a lot of people, they start anywhere from like, well, you can do 10 or 50. So some people might start at 100 and then you hit apply. And then from there, then you kind of test out some games, things like that, um, and see if it crashes at all. If it doesn't crash, you could go up to 150 and then test that and see if it crashes or not. And if it doesn't crash, you do another 50, but my car is an old one and I'm going to be hopefully getting something new soon. I, unlike an old card like this, I wouldn't go like above 160 or so because it starts getting a little bit unstable, at least for my system. Um, now, the other thing also to keep in mind is don't ever leave this checked on because what this will do is it'll over always overclock your GPU. Uh, whenever the system starts and if you went too high of a number here it will then essentially get your computer stuck in like a possible reboot scenario where you can't get it out because you can't get rid of this overclocking so what you want to do is once you hit apply and you can save and then you're just going to choose one of the numbers here to save it on so when you open up afterburner you can just hit the number and then hit apply and then it'll apply your changes to it now, as well with these profiles, you're going to want to also look at uh, memory clock, which is the RAM on your video card, and you can overclock the RAM as well. And a lot of people on this particular card go up to like 900, which is almost the max. Um, you know, I find it's a little bit more stable if I just kind of like half it and go with like 500 and then go from there. Now, I don't really touch the core voltage or the fan speed. I just let fan speed be auto, let it turn itself on and off. Uh, the power limit percent, uh, you can take a look and Google these a little bit. The problem is more is how much, um, what size of power supply do you have in your computer? Are you having any issues with your board, like shorts or anything like that? Brown Brownouts or anything happening on your board as well. That's important too, to understand. Um, so it sort of depends from there is how much power, because you're already increasing the power output by increasing the core clock and memory clock as well. So if you are having any problems with power draw on your system, if you have an older system that is, uh, then just consider that before you touch any of those. I personally just leave these alone. I just look at the core clock and memory clock because that is the overclocking. Uh, some people increase these for, you know, whatever their reasons may be. But if you just want to do the clocking, the overclocking, that's these. It's the ones that say clock. All right. And that's pretty much how you can overclock your GPU. Nice and simple.